Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we are going to look at best time to buy and sell a stock question 121 on lead code. So as always, I will go through the question, then we can look at the examples. Then I will go to the blackboard, explain the brute force solution, then explain the optimization and finally come back to lead code to code out the optimized solution and look at the time and space complexity. So let's start. You are given an array prices where prices of I is the price of a given stock on the ith day. And we want to maximize our profit by choosing a single day to buy one stock and then choose a different day in the future to sell that stock. And we want to return the maximum profit that we can achieve from this transaction. And if we cannot achieve any profit, just return zero. Okay, let's look at the examples. Um, in example one, we have prices. We have 715364. These are the prices of one stock on different days of the week. On one day, the stock was at $7, then it went to one, then it went to five, etc. And they are telling us that the output is five. They told us that buy on day two, where the price is one, and sell on day five, where the price is six, and the maximum profit that you can achieve is five dollars and an example two we have six so we have seven six four three one we see that the stock price kept going down so we cannot achieve any profit and thus the output is zero now let's go to the blackboard and explain the brute force approach so here i have the same prices array as example one the idea of the brute force approach is that we want to see all the profits that we can make from all the transactions and then pick the maximum profit. This will require two pointers. The red pointer will be the buy pointer and the blue pointer will be the sell pointer as we can see here. So the question say you want to buy on one day and sell in different day in the future. So we will start we will buy at seven and we will check if we sell at one are we going to make any profit no well we'll, we'll lose six dollars so the profit will be minus six and i have a max profit variable to keep track of the maximum profit and initially it will be at zero right because we did not sell anything yet so when we buy at seven and when we try to sell the stock at one we will lose six dollars so let's compare which is bigger zero or minus six of course zero so we do not update the maximum profit and now we advance the sell pointer okay what about if we sell the stock at five again we will lose two dollars so we do not update the maximum profit and we can see that if we sell at three or at six or at four we also lose money because three minus seven or six minus seven or four minus seven are all losses and when the sell pointer reach the end of the array it's time to update the two pointers and now we advance the red pointer to one and now the sell pointer goes to five and we go again okay now we buy at one let's try to sell at five five minus one is four well which is bigger zero or four dollars it's four so this is the time to update the maximum profit to four now we advance the blue pointer again to three. Three minus one is two. We make a profit two dollars, but four is greater, so we do not update the maximum profit. Now we go to six. Six minus one is five dollars, so we update the maximum profit to five. Now the pointer goes to four. Four minus one is three. Three is less than five, so we do not update the maximum profit. And we're going to keep doing that. Um, update the pointers now the red pointer will start here and the blue pointer will start here now and we're going to do that again as you can see this will require nested four loops one for loop for each pointer and the time complexity of this approach will be big o of n squared where n is the number of elements in the array this approach is so slow so let's see how can we optimize it Okay, and now let's look at the optimization. The idea of the optimization is that we want to try to only have one pointer 
that only moves forward and like we don't want to go back and keep checking again between all the numbers we only want to go one time to the right and get the maximum profit this way so how can we do that on the xy axis here i just drew these prices just to have a visualization of what's going on on the x-axis we have the days on the y-axis we have the price of the stock so in day one we buy at seven then in day two the price goes to one in day three it goes to five etc now just by looking at this graph we can see in order to make the maximum profit we need to buy here and we need to sell here the question asks for the maximum profit in order to achieve the maximum profit we need to buy the stock at the lowest point then we need to sell the stock at the maximum point okay so how we will do that in an efficient manner so i will write two points um, regarding the approach we will take and let's explain it one buy at lowest point so how we will do that we need to keep track of the buy price the price that we buy the stock at so one keep track of the buy price this is why we want a variable called buy price okay and now what should we do with this buy price each time we go through the price of the stock in different days and we see a lower price than the buy price we want to update this buy price to be at the lower price so we want to update the buy price when we see a lower price this is step number one now step number two we said that we want to sell at the highest price so how we are going to do that well we need to keep track of the highest profit we achieved so far so and that's why we need a maximum profit variable that will hold the maximum profit so far and we will keep updating this maximum profit variable each time we make a greater profit so int maximum profit okay so one we will check this point at each price in the array we will see is this price lower than our price point if the answer is yes good then we're going to update our buy price to be this lower price if number one fails if this point fails we will go to step two okay if this price is not lower then we will make a profit but is this maximum profit now this is the role of the max profit variable we will calculate the profit at each price higher than the buy price and compare it with the maximum profit let's look at a quick example then code the solution so at the start the buy price is 7 we don't know the future so we buy at 7 at the first day basically we buy and the maximum profit so far is 0 now day 2 comes the price went all the way down to 1 let's check is 1 lower than 7 yes we found a lower price point than the buy price so we update the buy price okay now the buy price is at 1 good now let's go to five okay is five lower than one no so now we will make a profit because we bought at one and the price at five okay so five minus one is four what is my maximum profit so far it's zero but four is greater than zero so we update the maximum profit to four good now we update the pointer three remember the buy price is still at one now three is greater so we make a profit three minus one is two but two is not greater than four so we do not update the maximum profit and we just advance the pointer the pointer now is at six okay we make a profit six minus one is five the maximum profit variable so far is four so we made a bigger profit because six minus one is five five greater than four so we update the maximum profit to five 
okay and finally advanced point here one last time to four we make a profit four minus one is three but three is less than the maximum profit so we do not update it and we get our answer the maximum profit is five basically we said here in point number two we said that the maximum profit is basically the maximum between the maximum profit variable that we have and between the profit at each price that is higher than the buy price so for instance our buy price at one we will make a profit here 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 and we need to keep a track of which profit is the highest of course this profit is the highest right here so basically we want to take the maximum between the maximum profit that we have so far and between prices sub i the number that we are at right here minus the buy price okay and yeah that's it now let's go and look at the solution it's so easy after we understand the theory okay here we are at lead code again and we said we need a buy price variable to keep track of the price that we bought the stock at so basically int buy price and we said we don't know the future so we will buy on the first day prices of the euro good now we said we want to keep track of the maximum profit so we need a maximum profit variable int max profit and initially it will be at zero because we did not sell anything yet and we said we will only have one pointer so one for loop is required for int i equals one why we are starting at one because we already took care of the case where i equals zero so for int i equals one i is less than prices dot length and i plus plus And we said we want to ask ourselves two questions is the price is lower than our price point this question right here so if prices of i is less than the buy price and if this is the case if this is the case we found a lower price point so we said we need to update the buy price so buy price is now prices of i good now else this means the price that we are at is higher than the price the buy price and we will make a profit but now is this the maximum profit so we will say maximum profit equals math dot max maximum profit and basically this is the idea here right here We always want to compare the maximum profit that we have so far, right, with the profit at each price that is higher than the buy price. And how to calculate a profit? Basically, we will take that price that is higher than the buy price minus the buy price will give us the profit at that point. So the maximum profit equals math.max. We will take the maximum between the maximum profit that we have so far and the profit at that price point so prices of i minus the buy price yep and that's it and at the end just return the maximum profit and this should be it let's run the code And here we go so now let's look at the time and space complexity so we only have two variables here so we have a constant space o of one and now let's look at the time complexity we only used one for loop so we only moved through the elements of the array once and we will assume that we have n elements of the array so the time complexity is big o of n i hope you like the video guys and Best of luck to you and I will see you in the next one.